In Trump's first term, the debt went up 8.1 trillion. Because of COVID. It went up because of COVID. It was already going up before COVID and it spiked even more under COVID. We all, all right, I have an argument for that. Hi, I'm Zach Weissmuller for Reason, coming to you from the 2024 Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. The August edition of Reason Magazine visualizes our amazing, incredible, terrifying national debt. And I'm gonna ask Trump supporters today, do you care about our national debt? I just wanted to show you, you know, this fold out here. We're at 122% of uh, GDP, so bigger than the entire economy. This is where it's projected to go. How does that make you feel? I, you're very scared. Pissed off. It's not good. We need help. You no, know, it doesn't make you feel great. I mean, especially when you see it specifically there like that. Tell you what, um, put a T right here and <laughs> you've got treason that the is, way they're spending. I watched a little bit of Vivek's speech last night and he talked about the national debt. Our government sold us a false bill of goods with the Iraq war and the 2008 financial crisis, loading up our national debt that falls on our generation's shoulders. Is there anything you think Trump is going to do to tackle this problem? I believe it is one of his top priorities, and I'm, I'm hopeful. We want growth in our country. That's what's going to pay off our debt. One major aspect that is driving the debt right now are entitlements, because mm. if you look at just Social Security and Medicare, was almost a third of the budget. Trump went after his opponents in the primary. DeSantis has his dirty fingers all over senior entitlements, like cutting Medicare, slashing Social Security. And she wants to gut Medicare and Social Security. Trump attacked them, but are we really going to be able to get this under control if we don't kind of make hard choices like that and say, like, let's try to make Social Security somewhat sustainable. It helped big time if they'd quit spending the money as soon as it comes in okay. on other things. What are some of the other programs you would like to see cut? Uh, Department of Education. With an unwillingness to, do, to touch entitlements, is there any way to tackle this? I don't know, but you know, ultimately this goes back to the fact that the American people are in the driver's seat, right? And uh, anyone that comes out and says that they want to privatize Social Security or privatize Medicare or cut those programs, they're not going to get elected. Do you think that there should be either cuts to that or reforms that, you know, raise retirement age, Day that kind of thing? One. Stop the illegals, build the damn wall. Okay. That will solve plenty of spending on Medicare. Mm. Our Medicare, our educational system, and, and Social Security. Illegals are getting Social Security that, that we worked all our lives for. Is this fair? Is this even smart? Yeah, but hold on a second, because when immigrants come over, they usually get jobs and then grow the economy. So wouldn't that be counterproductive if we're trying to, you know, no, grow the economy and pay off the debt? Not in this case. We have enough Americans who are in need of jobs. You're a yes, military sir. guy. Yes, um, we spent almost uh, $800 billion on defense last year. Mm -hmm. Does defense spending need to be cut? Oh, sir, you're trying to trap me on that one. It's no trap. Um, it's no, question. No, it really is. It, and it's a, a valid question because the same principles apply to the, the free market. You can't just have unlimited spending. Defense spending is very important because now you have an attack on Israel, our, our greatest ally in the Middle East. Uh, there's Iran that is building a nuclear weapons program. He came in with a desecrated uh, military. Okay. How can we be safe? How can we have peace through strength when we have a desecrated military? We had to spend money to bring that back up because Obama ruined our, our military. Is there any reason for me to think it's going to be different in the second term? Uh, yeah, I, look, I, I don't know. Um, I, I don't. If you ask the average American if they're concerned about the national debt or if they would like to cut programs, uh, I think they're probably going to say no or th th this is not at the top of their mind. They're worried about losing their kids. They're losing, worried about losing their country. They're worried about losing their freedoms. Right now, Americans are much, and right or wrong, right? I think the national debt is a national crisis and it's going to lead to catastrophe if we don't address it soon. But they're really concerned about losing their country. If, if we're in agreement that some government has to be cut in order to get the debt under control, 
What aspect of the government would you most like to see Trump cut in his second term? Department of Education. Okay. And you think that's going to... That, well, that's not an entitlement program. Well, Did it's you, a, were you talking about no, I mean, that, that, I mean, that's eliminating a department. Um, and we need to cut it's down It's going to you know, barely make a, a <laughs> nick on the debt, but uh, I'm not against it. I would like to see President Trump cut all uh, uh, taxpayer-funded gender transition surgeries, especially for minors. Okay. Um, I know that that won't make that's that big of like a dent. That's going to be like a couple nickels, right? That's fine, yeah. but, uh, but uh, you know what? Those kids can then still go on to have more children. They won't be sterilized, and they okay. can maybe create some more payers into Social Security and Medicare. That's what people need to see. The everyday person is pissed off that they can't get educated on stuff like this. Like, I want one of these magazines to take with me. Um, I'm gonna give this one to you. This is all yours. Thank you. I'd like to gift you this magazine so you thank can uh, you. scare the hell out of everyone about the debt. Give this magazine to you. Okay. I'll take it with you. Can I get an extra? Absolutely. Or